Hey guys, it's Tony here, and last we left off, we finally got this train going, and we are about to take off. Let's go. Yeah, it's better work. I mean, spend so much time fixing it. If it doesn't work, then I'll probably flip my table. One cargo for living. One cargo for driving. You know he's been here for a long time. He hasn't he thinking about you know doing this earlier? No duck. Wonder what would happen if we shoot a zombie? Will I attract more? Can't touch my ride. I have the voice for that. It just sound weird when I say it. You gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. Yes. No. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. No. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? Don't bit me. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Okay, gotta go find Kenny. The boy time has come. Feel like something bad's gonna happen. Just a feeling. I mean, anything anything that happened in this game is something bad. By definition. Kenny, you're you need to stop the train. If you know what I mean. Get your hands off me. Hey man, why so touchy? I'm, I'm sorry. I just want to talk. We gotta stop this train because Cat needs you, Kenny. Doc doesn't have much time left. He'll be fine. Katja needs you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Poor Kenny. This isn't about Doug. It's not about my son dying. What the hell do you know? You're not my friend. I don't hate you. You sure as shit haven't done anything for me. What the hell are you talking about? I saved your life. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. Stop the train, man. I kind of feel bad for him, even though he's a, he's getting like he's becoming a dick and all. But I mean, you put it in this situation, that'd be kind of sad too. I would be pro I'd probably be in denial too, if, like my friends or like my families. Hmm. 
Go, Kenny. Run to your kid. Run, Kenny, run. Ken, it's... I think it's time. Hmm. The boy's been bit. In case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. Hmm. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... What if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Hmm. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. Gotcha. Fuck. I, I, I better not say anything in this. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Stay with me. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. Yeah, I'd rather not say anything. <sighs> I can't. Lee, be with him. Hmm. This moment. No, what if he turns and bit him? Bit her. the God. most painful feelings ever this will never happen to you you don't know that that's a painful feeling yes I do I'm gonna go get her she's probably a mess Biff get Clementine on the train all right and keep your eyes open hmm so sad so sad, so so very sad. Well, she hasn't shot herself too. I called it. Cat, cat, gotcha. So he so he just shot us out and shot his son. Why, cat? Oh, oh fucking god! <laughs> I'm so sorry. She could. She 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 just. <sighs> I 
could I could never do something like this. Like if if I were to be in that situation, I could never could never do it. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man. The group just keep getting smaller and smaller. Don't look at him. You just make it harder. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. I kinda jumped a little bit there. <laughs> No. Poor, poor guy, poor guy. I know you can hear it, but the six. So sometimes loud motorcycle drive past by. You might can hear it in the video. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Cause she is. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. But y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? Still... Do what's best for Clementine. Oh well, then you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you, it won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. Somewhat, That's he got it. a point. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Hmm. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. No, Carly. Another little girl died. Might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Where are you headed? Uh... That way? I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past I see. years now. I'm sorry to hear that. No I mean, he probably got a point, like, you know, all those hairs and... It's totally cool. Good of you. 
know how to Sick. defend yourself. You bet. <sighs> I still feel bad for Kenny and still feel sad that Carly died. All these things. Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Yeah. It's the best plan. I guess it is. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? You mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me I just me wanted alone. to freaking grab the freaking map. Oh, hey, Ben. How are you? Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude is <laughs> around. We are, technically. All homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Alright, I'm not gonna bring that up. See I mean, don't, don't, don't wanna make him hit me any more than it is. The door to the boxcar. Oh, a drink. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What We're gonna cut we your hair. Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I like that. Now cut your hair. What a crappy day. The crappiest. Yeah, three months ago, I'd known what you'd be seeing. I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You're damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. Thank you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy. I hope so. You think? We'll keep an open mind about it. He's probably had it pretty rough. Um. I'll be right back. Okay. Actually, I guess I had to do that. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors. All right, let's get the scissors. They look clean. <laughs> hey, Clint. Hi. So you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. It's gonna cut your hair into bits. It's not Same sick. hairstyle as me. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, <laughs> right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Okay, okay, cut the hair. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Let's see how the hair turns out. Do you know how to do this? How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. <laughs> you already look you are going to look like a boy. Most likely. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. I'm glad you finally told me. Me too. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Hmm. Killing is bad no matter what. 
But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. Doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. The walkers aren't people. Okay. I think I'm about done. I can probably tear these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Look, yeah. looks like one of those Korean old lady hairstyle. I mean, no offense, Korean old lady. I mean, it looks good on some of them. <laughs> Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute and a lot <laughs> grab. We're well, gonna be wearing hat anyway. It's okay. Suck it up, man. Doesn't look that bad. I mean, yeah, when we was a hat, it hardly looked different. Alright. What do we do with this? It's a fifth of whiskey. Did I just steal that whiskey? Alright, let's go back and talk to Chuck and Kenny. But you know what? I'm gonna end the episode here. And I will see you guys later. See ya! Okay, ready? <laughs> ready? Wait, wait, is it just Tony? Is it just like, TONY!